Hi, I'm Ian Nethercott, Supply Chain Director at ProBrand, and I spend £35 million on IT products every year. So this week I'm going to give a, a, a one-off update really on the world of uh, the market in memory and SSD. So hopefully you checked out last week's video, uh, the monthly supply chain insights piece. Um, I mentioned in there around the, the possibility of, um, of flash memory products going through an increase. So, um, so pretty hot off the press, so just in the last week alone, the market's gone uh, pretty crazy actually uh, in, in memory and SSD. So uh, I've been flooded with communication coming from the wider supply chain um, around uh, potential global shortages, uh, price increases um, and uh, deal price holds as well on sort of project supported pricing uh, in this particular market. So, um, so I just want to share that with you uh, in terms of what's going on and, and why really. So. So there's, uh, there's two primary reasons why uh, I see this is happening. So, um, so I'll cover those off now. One of those particularly is, is actually a political uh, issue. Um, so there's an ongoing trade war between uh, Japan and South Korea. Um, that trade war is, is going through quite an escalation at the moment. So, and, the, and the reasons behind that ultimately are um, uh, Tokyo have put in some um, uh, extra controls in terms of export of, their, uh, of some of their core materials um, that are critical to, uh, to the manufacture of, of computer components specifically. Um, uh, for the techies out there, those, those core components um, are actually uh, fluorinated polyamide, uh, photoresists and uh, hydrogen fluoride etching gas. Um, so I uh, got that one out, it's a bit of a tongue twister amongst all of those. Uh, but those, uh, those three products, um, key exports for Tokyo, and there's a huge delay in those going into uh, two of the uh, largest memory manufacturers, which is Samsung and SK Hynix. Um, so all of that delay is obviously having a ripple effect uh, throughout the supply chain and, and, and what is now going to be that potential risk of a, uh, of a global shortage as well. Okay, so the second reason is there's been a 20 minute power outage in one of the major manufacturing plants as well for memory products. Uh, so although 20 minutes doesn't sound like a huge amount of time, um, to, to kind of get it, get it back up and running, reconfigure the manufacturing lines, and obviously you can imagine the scale of production that goes on, it's a, it's a huge overhaul to get that back up and running again to, it, to its full capacity. So just that 20 minute downtime actually causes a huge knock on effect um, into the supply out into the global market. Um, uh, which means that there's probably going to be uh, a, at least a, a 10% uh, reduction in terms of supply into the next one to two months out there into the marketplace for uh, memory products. So both of those things combined, uh, the whole trade war that's going on and then this power outage as well, um, has really just what, what's made this huge boom in the, uh, in the market in the last, uh, in the last week. So I've now seen uh, in the market just in the last week, uh, there's been price increases now coming into effect uh, of at least 10% uh, through uh, Micron, Kingston, um, and obviously every other uh, manufacturer is going to follow suit as well. Uh, most of that has, has already actually happened uh, with, with further price rises very, very likely to continue over these next uh, sort of two, three, four weeks as well. Um, there's actually also been um, quite a considerable amount of um, stock allocation amongst the, uh, amongst the distribution channel as well. So that means that uh, some of the key SKUs um, distribution have been capped in terms of what they're allowed to buy from the manufacturer on a daily basis and those caps change day by day as well. I've seen uh, some, uh, some SKUs where uh, the distributor is only allowed to buy as low as four, uh, a quantity of four of, of a particular, uh, particular product line. So, um, and that's really to keep it fair across the market, but obviously it shows the um, how, how that uh, demand is going to be affected out there. So, um, so, so really what that means for you um, out there is that, um, that you know, project pricing is going to be very challenging at the moment. Um, if you're looking to buy large volumes of flash memory products, you're going to have a problem in terms of not just stock, but also trying to secure a better price is actually going to be very, very challenging, uh, challenging at the moment. Uh, you know, the vendors out there have put pretty much lockdowns on uh, supported um, kind of special bid and deal pricing. Um, so that's going to be a very uh, huge challenge at the moment as well. So, uh, and obviously, price are going to continue to rise certainly over these uh, over these next few weeks as well. Um, so, um, I think it'll be very interesting to see how the next month pans out. Um, if
if, uh, if, if Japan and Korea sort their problems out, then hopefully uh, it, the market will get back to into a, a pretty good state. Um, but we'll, uh, we'll watch this space over the next month. So that's it. Thanks, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe for more insider information. Remember to send any questions to askian at probrand.co.uk. Uh, but remember to check out the channel as well for other insider information. Uh, there's going to be some uh, interesting videos coming in these next weeks as well uh, with other market updates and certainly around uh, around this topic as well. 